Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans. Today I thought I'd do something a little bit special and a little bit different and talk about these. Which is of course the 9th and 10th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver Toys. And I'm going to be uh, taking you through each and every single one of these right the way through from their uh, first release which was the Christopher Eccleston Screwdriver the whole way through to Matt Smith. So without further ado, let's get started on that. Okay, so here we have the very first Sonic Screwdriver ever released, which of course is the Chris Reckleston 9th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, and here it is in its box. As you can see it says, UV pen and UV light, write and reveal hidden messages, slide out Sonic wave emitter, and button activates light, and two authentic sound effects. And uh, around the back of the packaging here is where you get the most garb. So uh, a lot of information has been put there about the Sonic Screwdriver and uh, some of its features as well. And uh, down here, as you can see, it says uh, requires three times AG13 button cell batteries, which are not supplied. So that's kind of annoying that this is the only Sonic Screwdriver ever released which did not come with its batteries included. Okay, so here we go, and as you can see, for a kid's toy released back in 2005, this is detailed very nicely, very authentic to the show. Um, as you can see, the main sort of thing about this toy is the that sets it apart from all the rest of the toys released in the range is that as you can see the handle here is a completely different color it's more of a cream color whereas later on you've got an almost sort of white sort of cream color but this one is definitely a sort of kind of flesh tone here and uh, the fact that looking at the handle here there is no sort of cracked detail around it but uh, in the later versions of course there are but still on the whole detailed incredibly well now of course there are two buttons on the screwdriver here and here this one activates the screwdriver when it is in fully closed mode so as you can see here it activates and uh, pushing this little lever the whole way up right to the top extends it out and as you can see the little top button there activates it when it's in open mode which is really cool and really nice and I do like that however in the show the button is of course on this section and uh, the doctor can activate it no matter where it is uh, extended because of course that's how it works the further up it is uh, that's how you sort of activate its different functions and features so that pretty much is the ninth Doctor Sonic screwdriver and that's all well and good but then this happened Barcelona. And to commemorate that glorious occasion, Character Options re-released the Sonic Screwdriver with brand new packaging to accommodate our brand new Doctor. So as you can see here, it's pretty much the same design again. Uh, it's still got the Doctor on this side, except now it's David Tennant using the screwdriver. Uh, the packaging is a lot darker. The uh, background on the interior here, as you can see, is now red. Uh, the actual little notebook here is actually open this time with that little Dalek side in Sector 4 written there. And uh, the spur ink nib there uh, with ultraviolet light and pen written there this time. But pretty much apart from that, the same information. And if you take a nice little look right down in there, you can see the batteries are now included, which is brilliant. Okay, here we go. And of course, the biggest difference from the 9th to the 10th Dr. Screwdriver in design capacity anyway, is the sort of little handle here. Now, as you can see, it does more closely resemble the cracked port porcelain from the show. Not too well detailed though, it would have been nice if uh, they had put some black paint in there to sort of emphasise the cracks, but apart from that, it's basically the same mould and the same design, and uh, of course it retains this little UV light feature from the 9th Doctor Screwdriver, and uh, just like the 9th Doctor Screwdriver, I didn't show it in the 9th Doctor Screwdriver, but I will show it with this one, um, it has a little ink sort of nib at the bottom here, so when you twist this, this pops off, and as you can see you've got a little pen there and uh, allows you to write stuff obviously which is kind of cool uh, which I actually used for my French exam for my GCSE funnily enough uh, this pops off here as you can see and sets to one side and you also have a replacement nib here which pops right in there now this is your UV ink nib so whenever you screw this off as you can see you've got your little UV ink nib so you use this basically to write your secret messages and then shine your screwdriver on them and this will show up the hidden message so as you can see here, I've used the UV ink nib to draw my little Vote Saxon logo here. I'm pointing the screwdriver at it, reveals the hidden message there. So the UV light feature is quite cool and it is nice that you get the notebook with it. But of course, what happens whenever you run out of pages in your notebook and you can't have anything to write on anymore? Well, you know, you could go out and you could get yourself some blank pieces of paper to write on, but Character Options thought, no, how can we make more money from this? So they decided to re-release the screwdriver yet again. So here we go again with the Mark III version of the Sonic Screwdriver, which is exactly identical as the one I just previously reviewed there. Same box, everything basically, except this time it now comes with psychic paper instead of the little notebook. So obviously the box is pretty much identical, except, you know, batteries are included as well, except this time it says, now includes wallet with wipe clean psychic paper. So uh, pretty much the rest of the box does look identical 
uh, except this time, instead of being written, this little dog sided in sector four being written on the uh, paper, this time it's actually written on the little psychic paper wallet, which is kind of nice too. And uh, you've got the same little picture around the back of the box here as well. So uh, all kind of similar. The only difference, of course, being the psychic paper, which is detailed kind of very nicely there. You can kind of see if it catches the light. Uh, it's kind of got that whole faux leather thing going on about it, which is really, really nice and cool. And uh, whenever you pop it open here, it is just like in the show. You've got your white bit of paper here, which is your white clean uh, psychic paper for, for writing and revealing hidden messages. And so you've got the little pocket here down the side too, which is kind of cool. So, I mean, if you are big into Doctor Who and you do want to carry this around with you, it is kind of useful too, because of course there is a little pocket here as well, just in... You can pull this actually open here, and it kind of creates a little pouch. So you can keep, like, bus tickets and stuff in that there, so... Uh, it is quite damn cool. This was on uh, sale for quite some time until I decided to re-release it yet again. So this is what I like to call the Partners in Crime set. And it's the first time the screwdriver has been released with different packaging, which looks really nice. And uh, around the back of the packaging here, as you can see, um, pretty much the same information around the front. And two nice pictures of both screwdrivers there, which is really cool. And of course, batteries are included for both screwdrivers, which is definitely a plus. So this is kind of a bare bones version of the screwdriver here. Uh, as you can see, it is pretty much the same design, same, de same detail pretty much as before. Except this time, there is no UV light feature. So whenever you pretty much turn this on, as you can see, you get a bright blue light this time instead of a purple UV light. So this doesn't write or reveal hidden messages. But it does, however, still come with a little black ink nib at the bottom, which is cool. So uh, that's definitely a plus. And I do like the fact that the tip is blue this time instead of purple, so it's a lot more like in the show. Um, and of course, for not having the UV light function, it does come, of course, with the Sonic Pen, which is really cool and really well detailed, and it does light up blue as well, like in the show, and it does make the noise, and uh, whenever you twist it here, the little nib sort of retracts and pops out here, so it can be used as an actual pen, although it is kind of big, but at the same time, that is really nice, and uh, this is pretty much my favourite Sonic released uh, in the range so far. So here we have the final version of the uh, 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver to be released before the 11th Doctor Screwdriver came out and took its place. And this is part of what uh, I like to refer to as the end of time set, where uh, you got all these like kind of packages and uh, you got the narrator, you got the Doctor, you got the 11th Doctor just after he regenerated, uh, the, the Journal of Impossible Things with the Master's Ring, etc, etc. So uh, as you can see on one side here you've got David Tennant, on the other side here you've got Matt Smith. And this is kind of the Doctor Who equivalent of... Uh, the Doctor Who toy equivalent, anyway, of a sort of uh, collector's plate. So that's kind of nice. And it's nice and silver, too, with the Doctor Who logo up at the top there. Limited edition pack with ultraviolet light, which reveals hidden messages, obviously. Uh, so it's nice that they've uh, reintroduced that feature. But no uh, psychic paper or not even any paper or a notebook included with it, which is kind of a shame. But you do, however, get the uh, black ink nib along with the UV nib. So that's definitely a nice little change, anyway. And around the back here, as you can see, there's a big difference. Uh, it says the 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver again, not to be confused with the 11th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. And all the same basic garb that we've had all the way throughout this. And a uh, nice big picture of the Sonic Screwdriver. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video. I'd like to thank you very much for watching, and uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, there's going to be more videos online. Thank you very much for watching, and bye-bye. Uh, <laughs>